Hello, hello, good evening. Jody here from Healing Journey. And this evening, I was about to say this morning, we are going to be talking a little bit more about PMS as this is something that's been coming up a lot. So I haven't been online um, recently this week because I took some time and went up north. I like to unplug. I will post a picture of um, my trip. It was nice to get away. Um, but one of the things that's been a hot topic is what is underlying PMS. So, you know, if you're listening to this and you find that your anxiety multiplies tremendously right before your cycle, whether it's a week or for some people, it's even two weeks before their cycle. And you feel like you're going crazy and you have no idea why you've like gotten on some sort of roller coaster and can't get off. You're going to want to tune in to find out what is actually underlying that in addition to hormonal imbalances that could actually be driving your anxiety. So I do have a webinar that's coming up next Thursday at 7 p.m. EST, where I'm going to be sharing more about um, the root causes of your anxiety. And the root cause I'm going to talk about today is also one of the root causes that I talk about in my webinar. So, you know, there are lots of different symptoms to PMS, but basically when you're on this anxiety train, it can almost feel painful. So if you're listening to this and, you know, you feel like, um, you're somebody that's not yourself. If you feel like your thoughts are racing and you can't calm down, maybe you're looping on something, or maybe you almost feel like paranoid and close to psychotic where you start to overreact to things that you normally wouldn't react to. Um, when you're not in that state, maybe you have trouble sleeping through the night. Um, so maybe you're awake with heart palpitations in the night, or you simply just cannot sleep through the night right before your period. Um, maybe you crave chocolate quite intensely and this gets way worse right before your period. So there can be lots of reasons why or symptoms that are associated with PMS. If you have a symptom of PMS that I haven't mentioned, just write it in the comments below so we can add a growing list of what women you guys are experiencing in terms of PMS. So I would love to hear a lot more about that. Um, so one of the main things that people think are underlying PMS is absolutely um, hormonal imbalances. And that's completely true. Um, obviously if your hormones are not balanced properly, which most women today don't have their hormones balanced properly, then this can definitely drive your PMS symptoms. Now, one of the things that a lot of people think is they're like, oh, I'm on the pill. Shouldn't this be helping my PMS? And so what's important to know is that when you're on the pill, it actually creates um, an estrogen dominance within the body. So your body actually thinks that it is estrogen dominant um, because the body sees the estrogen in the pill or birth control as estrogen, but um, it sees the progestin not as progesterone. So it creates this situation where your estrogen is actually higher than your progesterone. And this creates um, a, a really big situation where you're much more likely to have what's known as copper toxicity. So when you're estrogen dominant, and this also can happen right before your period, you get a lot of copper dumping out of your system or stored into your system. And so you are much more likely to notice the symptoms of copper toxicity. So oftentimes the copper is stored in your body and at certain times of the month, it can trigger copper dumping, which is typically right before your period. And so if you are struggling right before your cycle and um, you're feeling these PMS symptoms, it's actually likely due to copper accumulation in your body that's triggered to dump at certain times of the month. And so copper dumping is actually very much linked to a lot of the PMS symptoms. And, you know, I actually struggle with very, very high levels of copper um, for a lot of different reasons. One is which a giant worm in my body created a whole bunch of mineral imbalances, which caused a massive storage of copper in my system, which led to anxiety. But it can also be caused, as I talked about, with an estrogen dominant situation, whether you're on the pill 
or not. And so this copper toxicity can be a huge link to your experience of anxiety and PMS. And so a lot of people think, okay, i just need to go off the pill or I just need to balance my hormones in order to address my copper toxicity. And that's not necessarily the case. What you actually need to do is you need to start boosting your minerals. And so when you boost your minerals, this supports the body to properly detox copper. And what I actually do is I take a a special zeolite. It's a, a special binder that will bind to the copper. So I typically take it um, when I'm PMSing to just reduce those PMS symptoms. And so it will bind to the copper and really support the body to detox the copper so that you're not experiencing these symptoms of PMS. So, you know, if you're looking for more information on root causes, such as what is underlying your PMS anxiety or what's underlying your anxiety in general, I invite you to join me on my webinar this coming Thursday. So it's next Thursday at 7 p.m. EST. It's absolutely free. And if you want the link, just press webinar in the comments below. And I will personally message you the link so that you can join me to dive further into root causes of your anxiety.